Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you're creating your publications, you will often need to add pages to hold more content, especially if you're creating a new blank publication from scratch. Before you insert a page, you will most likely want to select the page in the navigation pane that is the page immediately before the position at which you want to insert a new page. While it is possible to insert pages before a selected page, they are more commonly inserted after a selected page. Next, you should click the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then to insert a new blank page immediately following the page that is currently selected in your publication, you can simply click the Page button within the Pages group on the Insert tab within the ribbon. Give that a click. The new page will automatically appear selected within the navigation pane and in the page design area so that you can immediately begin creating content for the new page. In addition to inserting a new blank page into your publication, you could also choose to insert a duplicate of a selected page. To do this, simply select the page that you wish to duplicate within the navigation pane. Then click the drop down arrow below the page button within the pages group on the insert tab within the ribbon. This little drop down right here. Give that a click. And from that drop down menu of choices shown, simply select the insert duplicate page command. Now, that will automatically insert a duplicate page into your publication. Note that this page will also appear immediately following the initially selected page and will also be immediately selected within the navigation pane and thus appear on screen for editing as well. Note that if you wish to move the duplicate page to a new location within your publication, you can simply click and drag the page shown within the navigation pane to the desired page location and then release it when it's in the correct position. As you click and drag, you'll see a dark thin line appear between the existing pages so that you'll be able to tell where the page will insert itself when you release the mouse button. So we'll scroll down here, click on this page and drag it down until we see that small thin line appear, release it, and we'll move the page. Note that when you click the drop down arrow button up here under page again, that we see three command choices. The first is insert blank page, which is the same as clicking the page button to insert the blank page that we did before. The second is insert duplicate page, and we'll insert a duplicate of the selected page as we just learned. The third choice is insert page. You can select the insert page command in order to open the insert page dialog box. This dialog box allows you to insert multiple pages either before or after the currently selected page and also allows you to choose what content will be placed onto those pages. At the top of the Insert Page dialog box, enter the number of new pages that you wish to insert into the Number of New Pages text box right here. So we could select two, for example. Next, select whether the new pages are to be inserted before or after the currently selected page by choosing the desired Option button. I'm just selecting one of those. Down in the Options section, you can then determine the page content by selecting the desired option button as well. So insert blank pages, create one text box on each page, or you could select duplicate of all objects on the page. Now note that if you choose the third option, you'll need to enter the page whose content you wish to duplicate into the text box that follows the Duplicate All Objects on Page Options button. We'll just do Insert Blank Pages. 
but once you've made all of your selections, simply click the OK button to insert the selected pages. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.